Mount Alvernia. It was a Tuesday morning at 3.45 a.m. when I had to rush my kid to Mount Alvernia Hospital and he was admitted. We were given a single room situated at the end of the pediatric ward. My baby was running a high temperature and I stayed awake to look after him. It was about 4.45 a.m. when I suddenly heard some knocking or rather a banging sound coming from the corner of the room. I brushed it off thinking that it could be air pressure since the windows were facing the highways directly. The following night at 12.30 a.m., I once again heard the same knock-knock-knocking, banging noises. My baby was up and he too heard the noise. I thought it might have been coming from the patient's family in the next room and they could have been moving around, so I didn't pay much attention to it. And then, at 2.30 a.m., the noise occurred from the same corner and I woke up, startled, with my heart racing. I pressed the nurse call button with the intention of politely requesting them to ask our neighbours to reduce the noise. When the nurse entered our room, I immediately asked, Is the next room occupied? And went on to say, Could you kindly tell them to reduce the noise? And I'd appreciate it if they can be more considerate. Her reply freaked me out when she said that there was nobody in that room. The patient earlier had already been discharged sometime in the late afternoon. Upon hearing this, I freaked out. I told the nurse that there were some noises coming from that corner and she said it could be the construction work happening right outside of our window. I thought to myself, yeah, right, construction work at 2.30 a.m.? Please check for me. Go ahead and have a peek at the window. Her expression immediately changed and she asked if I would prefer a change in room and I said, yes, please. I suggested to keep the door open and the lights on as well. Again, the noise reoccurred. I took my iPad and started playing some music to create a distraction. Time passed and soon it was daybreak and we were still not move to a different room. The following night, my husband dropped by with some clean clothes and toiletries. I told him to check the corner to see if it was possible to place our bags there. He didn't seem bothered, but I was desperate to share with him the incident that had happened the nights before, and yet reluctant at the same time to scare him. I blurted out to him about the noises I was hearing, and instead of comforting me, he said, Babe, don't bother about these noises. And you just focus on our child. I know he was frightened because he left the room at about 1am. Right after he left, the noises started back up again. This time, I couldn't stand it anymore. So I pressed the nurse call button and begged them to shift us to another room. Thankfully, there was another available room and we were shifted immediately. Later, during the day, several nurses asked about my request to change rooms. So I told him about the noise. Out of curiosity, I asked if there were patients before us who had complained, and it was no surprise to me when she told me that there had been patients who have requested to shift rooms but never explained their reasons. Another nurse told me that several other few patients requested to change room and one of them particularly mentioned that he was very uncomfortable in the room. Has Anyone ever encountered similar incidents in this hospital before? Well, one thing is for sure, I would definitely avoid this particular room.